Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to give a look upon Introduction to Industrial Microbiology. Let's start with it. Industrial microbiology is a branch of science that deals with study and uses of microorganisms which has industrial and economical applications. Now here in industrial microbiology, the microorganisms that have industrial importance which are important to the industries as well as have an economical applications or economical uses are studied here in this branch. Further, in industrial microbiology, microorganisms are isolated from their natural environment, characterized and classified. Now, first of all, the microorganisms are isolated from their natural environment. Now, natural environment means, as we know, microorganisms are present everywhere in air, water, soil, animal, plants, human beings. So, from its natural environment or natural habitat, these microorganisms are isolated then they are studied in studying they are characterized and then they are classified now after classification further these microorganisms are produced on large scale by use of fermenter now after classification first of all it is decided whether these microorganism can be used on industrial scale or it has whether it has an industrial importance or no and then further this microorganism are produced on the large scale if they are important then they are produced on large scale by using ferment further microbes convert inexpensive raw material into economical important product now basically in uh, maximum in industrial microbiology is concerned with fermentations and in fermentation the role of microorganism is to convert inexpensive raw material into economically important product now products are passed through detection, analysis, assay, purification and recovery to make them safe and effective. Now once the fermentation is carried out, once the product are formed, they are not directly given in the market. They are carried out to various processes like detection. Detection means they, um, they detect whether the desired product is produced or no. Then analysis for the assay, purification, recovery. There are several procedures that are carried out and then they make sure whether it is safe and effective. So, further, the end product formed in fermentation is economically important, but the organism used for fermentation are equally important. So, obviously, if the fermentation product which we are getting by using the organisms means indirectly the organism is also equally important to the fermentation product now during fermentation microorganisms produce some intracellular as well as some extracellular enzymes now this is ob obvious when the microorganism carry out fermentation it undergoes various cycles various chemical reaction as a result of these things it produces enzymes these enzymes may be intracellular or they may be extracellular further the enzymes produced play an important role in fermentation degradation and utilization of media components now these uh, enzymes are not waste that uh, means they are not waste product they are very important as they play an important role in fermentation means they can carry out many fermentation reactions or many fermentation procedure or they can enhance several procedures further uh, in degradation so uh, it is important in degradation as well as utilization of media components further enzymes may be the final product of fermentation or may play important role in product formation as i told before enzymes itself may be a final product or it may play an important role in product formation for example enzyme like amylase protease are used in variety of products and amylase is an enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of starch into sugar so here amylase is the enzyme act as a catalyst Catal catalyst means it enhances the rate of reaction 
and it plays a mileage play important role in hydrolysis of starch into sugar whereas protease also called as peptidase or proteinases e is any enzyme that perform proteolytic proteolysis so a proteolytic activity is carried out by Here with the help of a table, I have shown list of economically important products obtained by applying microbiology on industrial scale, economically important products and the examples in beverages, wine and beer, in amino acid examples are L-lysine, L-glutamic acid etc. In enzymes examples are amylase, protease, in vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin B12, in organic acid, lactic acid, gluconic acid, in antibiotics, streptomycin, penicillin, in gases, the examples are carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen, etc. In organic solvents, ethanol, butanol, propanol, etc. In food, the examples are cheese, bread, vinegar, etc. And bacterial insecticides, example is bacillus thuringiensis. These are some examples. Let's see some applications of industrial microbiology. It is applied in quality control department of food, beverages, pharmaceutical, dairy and chemical industry. It can be applied to waste disposal and sewage treatment system and its research and development. Further, antibiotics and antimicrobial products are produced which are important for treatment of various diseases. Various healthcare products like insulin, antibiotics, antibodies and hormones are produced. Research and development is carried out in industries like diagnostic assay system, RDNA technology. These techniques are used in the development of vaccines and various metabolites.
production to avoid and treat various diseases so these are the now thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel